Hey y'all, welcome. Today I will finally be posting my fall fashion haul. I know it's been quite a while, or it hasn't been a while, but other people have been posting these. But I'm posting mine now, so. Let's go ahead and dive right in. I have quite a few things to show you, quite a few pieces, like nice pieces that I love for fall. And honestly, I could probably wear these all year long, except a few, but we'll get into those. First, I'm gonna start with shorts. Yes, your girl gets hot, okay? Let's get it hot. Yes, Dallas gets cold, but we honestly don't have, I'm gonna say we don't have fall. We have summer and we have cold. There is no in between usually. So with these shorts, you can still wear them. Think tights, you know, think layering. That's what I plan on doing with these. So I'm gonna start off with some biker shorts. I have these ones. I believe this color is called Bordeaux, seriously. I love these. These are the shorter version. Now, I didn't realize they would be this short. I do wish they were a tad longer. I also wish these were a tad looser. The size I got in these, I got these from, I don't know how to pronounce it, okay. I'm gonna learn how to pronounce it next time. Italist, 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 maybe? Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's the store that's just from Italy. They, you know, kind of like Farfetch where it comes directly from, I don't even know. The name of the color is Bordeaux and they're a size small. I do wish I had gotten a size medium because your girl got a little chunk. They fit very tight around the thighs and I have to constantly pull them down. And these are the rider shorts, which are shorter than the biker shorts, okay? They have biker shorts, which I'm gonna show you next. These are in black. I did size up in these. See so yeah, how these are much longer. Hold on, I'm trying to hold them up at the same time, but it's hard. Let's do like this because y'all can't see that you see how these are much longer i like that length better these are okay but i feel like these will be cuter on someone that doesn't have as much butt as me because it can turn trashy really fast in my opinion and i don't necessarily like that but like i said i can pull them down i can make it work you can layer these under skirts if there's some short it's a short skirt you know or you know like under a long blazer you can do it like that or with a jacket like I did. There are different ways to wear this. Even with a denim top, it will look cute. But I really love these. These are essentials I could wear year long, not just in fall, or I can use them as layering pieces under dresses and skirts. So I'm very glad I got these. And here are the black ones again on their own. I love the length of these. I got these in a size medium. I did size up in these and so much better than the small. I made the small work, okay? But I do wish I had gotten in the medium, but I love these. Super high rise, great quality, great material at first. I was like, oh my God, the price. And now I see why people are raving about these and people are buying them anyway. They're awesome. Also, y'all have probably seen me with these. I posted an outfit with them, I believe, on Lux and Lipstick on Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me on Lux and Lipstick, I'm active on there now. And I post a bunch of outfits wearing the stuff I buy. So be sure to follow me, okay? These are the Fendi Vertigo shorts that everybody has. I'm glad I caved and got them. I originally wanted them, like before, just being honest before everybody else had them. But I was like, no, I cannot spend that much on a pair of shorts. And then I saw everybody talk about how awesome they were, how thick they, what is wrong? How thick the material was, sorry, my camera looked like it was losing focus or something, I don't know. But anyway, I got these in a size, of course the size is, I don't know why I'm thinking and ready to wear the sizes in here, but it's not. Let me quickly check my size. I got these from Farfetch too, I believe. And yes, I got them in size 40. Now this is a size down from the size I normally wear. I'm so glad I sized down because they do run big on me. And I am a bit curvier. So if you're curious about like the size and everything, they do run large, even with curves. And they fit perfectly. The material is so nice. I don't know if y'all can even see this, how thick it is. It's not crazy thick, but even the underside, they're not reversible, but you can kind of see the Zuka print under there, the FF print, whatever they're calling it these days. I also love this back pocket, even though it's not a real pocket. I don't mind that because I don't plan on using it for anything anyway. That's the pocket, it's just a slit faux pocket. Also, I love this little feature. It happens to be too tight at the waist. You can pull it and it'll kind of tighten it a little bit. And also, of course, they have your drawstrings at the front. There are two different strings here. And, you know, of course, the little loop here, which is so nice. The quality of this is nice. Also, this is with the ends of the drawstring. Is that what you call this? That's what it looks like, okay. Also, it has two side pockets, or they have two side pockets. I really love these. I'm so glad I got them. They are pricey, but with these, I can wear them so many ways, okay? I believe I wore them with the denim button down. You can wear them with a blazer. You can wear them with a bodysuit. So many different ways. Even in the fall and winter, you can do tights and boots. I'm telling you, these are nice. Hopefully they release these in other prints. 
for a cheaper price, but I doubt it. These are nice, a great buy, I love them. My last pair of shorts, this isn't really luxury, but to me it is, okay? Good American, most of my denim, FYI is from Good American, most of my jeans and all of that. These are actually Bermudas. They have a nice kind of gently baggy fit. These are like the 90s fit Bermudas. I got them a bit tighter. I could have went a size up and had them be a little baggier, but I kind of like these. I do like these. I believe I, I did get them on sale. So I'm not really sure if I could return them at this point. I mean, now I can't, I took the tags off, I wore them. I don't even think I could have returned them if I didn't because they're on sale and they're really, really picky about that. These are a size six or size 28. I decided not to go with the 27. That is my typical size with Good American just because I knew that this fabric would be stiffer and I was right. This is not stretchy at all. You might want to size up one size with these or two if you want a baggier fit, but I love the distressing. I love the color of the denim and it has five pocket also has a little distressing on these back pockets here and also they're frayed on the edges I love these I really love these I do just wish I had sized up one more time for a baggier fit but I'm okay with this even with these you know you could wear with booties you can wear with heels sneakers even throw it with a blazer so many different ways you could wear those speaking of good American I got one more piece from them and this is the only skirt I have this is a mini skirt I also got this on sale I got this in a size 6 and 28 this also is nice stretchy so I'm glad I sized up with this as well the side slits are so sexy they come up the perfect height I love the frayed ends this is also a five pocket love the color of it you can never go wrong with a denim skirt no matter what time of year no matter what outfit you're wearing denim is a neutral you can wear it with anything and that's why I got it you know it's nice to have a few quality or quite a few quality basics in your wardrobe because you can throw them on anytime if I need a quick outfit to get out of the house I'm like okay here in a t-shirt done or if it's cooler throw a blazer throw a jacket or a hoodie over it boom done with tights with socks sneakers heels boots booties whatever and you're good to go I got two lace pieces from Dolce & Gabbana I got this bralette which I have a little trouble filling out because I have smaller boobs but it's okay it still fits great it has larger cups so with this you want to size down this is in a size medium I should have gone with a small but it still fits great I love this love the logo at the bottom I love lace in general and this is so adorable you can of course, layer it underneath. You can wear it on its own with some joggers. That's actually one of the ways I wore it. And it's super stretchy, obviously. Also, it has multiple hook and eyes. I think it's six. Yes, yeah, six. So plenty of support. If you need more support back there, I don't have anything to really support. But it's still very comfortable. It makes it even more comfortable. The fact that it's thicker. I love this bralette. I really, really like it. Also from Dolce & Gabbana, I got this tank. I got this during their spring summer sale, I believe. So I got it like 60%, 50, 60% off, something like that. And a size, why don't I ever know these things? 42, which is basically my true size, but you could go down a size with this. I love the band. You can wear this a number, a number of ways too, underneath things on its own. So many different ways you can dress it up or down. It's a nice basic. Y'all know with my ready wear and things like that I buy, I have to be able to wear it multiple ways. I'm not gonna just wear it one way, one and done. I don't have the type of money for that or the time. So I don't do that. I really like this though. It does fit a little looser at the bottom. If you see this, why you keep trying to focus on me? I really hope. I've been in focus the whole time. It keeps saying click a focus area. What the hell are you talking about? As I was saying, it's kind of looser fitting at the bottom. One thing I don't like about it, see how it kind of flares out a little bit. I don't really like that. If you're planning on wearing it over like leggings or something, that will work for you. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Everything is going wrong. It's like the sunspot on my face and it's annoying me. Hold on. I'm not wearing any. I'm wearing underwear. <laughs> I'm back. That looks better anyway. I'm glad I did. Where was I? I wish it was more tapered or tailored in. It would look way better, in my opinion. But it's okay. I tuck it into whatever I wear. I have one jacket and I actually did a separate unboxing for this, so I won't go into too much detail. But I did land my hands on this very popular jacket from, I believe, the Spring Summer 2021 collection from Prada that personal shoppers are marking the hell up on. But I didn't do that. I got it from Farfetch, so I did not pay above price for this. No way. And it came directly from the Prada Italy Central store, wherever that is. I got this in a size 40. Just a quick note, it does have an oversized fit. You can probably gather that from the sleeves here. It has an oversized fit. Oversized and cropped. I love the zipper. I really like this jacket. I'm so glad I got it. And y'all know, as you already know, with denim jackets, they're classics. You can wear them anytime any amount of years they don't go out of style basically all right i got multiple mock necks 
two are just Mocknick Mock shirts. <laughs> this one is from Burberry. I love this. I did size up in this. I thought I smelled something weird. Meaning I need to get a dry clean, but I don't. I know I got this in a size medium. I do love their traditional print too, but y'all know green is one of my favorite colors. So I went for this one first. Do plan on still getting a traditional print version, but I love this so much. Oh my gosh, the green and black is so nice. Also, it doesn't mess my hair up because it has a back zipper. That makes it super, super easy to put on so you don't have to worry about messing your hair, your makeup up, or anything. It stretches really nicely. I did size up with this though. They run very slim. You know, very small. So if you're small, size up to medium. I'm typically small, but I got a medium in this because I know their shirts like this run small. Because I ordered one last year and I had to send it back from Neiman Marcus. They had a small, they were sold out of other sizes. I was like, yes, they got a small. And then I got it and tried it on. I was like, no, it doesn't fit. So I learned my lesson with that. Other mock neck I got is from Off White. I got this on Farfetch. This is a size, a size. I'm delirious. It's a size 42. So I believe this is a size up too. And with mock necks in general, they tend to run slimmer. So just keep that in mind. This one still fits very slim, but is not uncomfortably slim. You know what I mean? I love the colors of this one. Orange is my favorite color. Green is my second favorite color. So, I mean, I kind of had to, okay? I kind of had to. Just saying. The other mock neck I got was from Alexander Wing. This one was like 50% off or something. I did not pay full price. I've learned my lesson with Alexander Wing. Do not pay full price. Okay. Because it always goes on sale. What is, I believe this is a size medium. Let me quickly check. Size medium. Actually, it was less. It was more than 50% off. I paid $190 for this. Regular price, $450. Great deal. I have this one in black. It's not quite the same because it has the wing print like this. The other one I have is spelled out Alexander Wing everywhere. But I really like this. I love the mock neck. You can, you know, fold it over. You can kind of bend it like this or fold it over. I need to wash this actually because I have makeup on it. Kind of hard to avoid with this because it doesn't have a zipper like Burberry. But I love the fact that it's cropped. Very cute. I really like this a lot. All right, similar material. This is not a luxury brand, but it's expensive. <laughs> this is from, or these are from Philip Lim. I'll take these off so you can see them open. When I tell y'all these are the best joggers I've ever bought and worn. I got these from Neiman Marcus as well. Let me quickly take a look. When I tell y'all these are the best joggers, they are comfortable, okay? They're from 3.1 Philip Lim. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I think I just said Philip Lim at first and that's wrong. They have a nice drawstring here. They have zippers on the side. There's no bag pockets, not a problem. They still fit very well. I'm usually very picky about that. I usually have to have pockets. These are in a size medium. Oh my gosh. They slouch perfectly. They don't slouch too much. They don't fit too far up the vagina. Like some joggers can. The whole purpose of my opinion, joggers are supposed to fit loosely, but still, you know, classy-ish and sporty, you know? I love these. Oh, I love them so much. The material is nice. You can even wear these in the wintertime. They're so thick. I love the thick band. I don't have to worry about the elastic rotating throughout. You know, with some, you know, elastic bands, they can fold over and stuff and then you have to unfold it. I don't foresee this doing that with the thicker band those are a dream i want more colors in philip lim or 3.31 philip lim 3.1 what is it let's move on to bodysuit i have two why did i think i had more maybe not i have two bodysuits here okay i also ordered a bunch from skims i will not include those because i plan on doing a separate skims haul and tell you guys about that but I have two to show you here. One from Burberry. Same selling print as the mock neck. This material. By the way, I also got a size medium in this. So I sized up as well. Oh my gosh. Perfect coverage at the back. I don't mind a thong bodysuit, but it's nice to have thicker, you know, have it be uh, more coverage with the thicker material because I don't want thick material cutting me back there, if you know what I mean. But I love this bodysuit. It has the perfect V-neck. V-neck? V-neck. What? Also, I noticed this today. Let me take it off this hanger. I'm sorry. Okay, the straps are adjustable. So if you wanna show a little more or show a little less, you can do that because it has three holes here. So you can move the strap up and down. Oh my gosh, Burberry, you are a genius. I love that added feature. I absolutely love it. So you can choose or pick your poison, okay? I love this so much. I want the other color, okay? I want the other color scheme. But your girl gotta wait because your girl done done a lot of damage in the past few months and I gotta chill. Last, oh my gosh, this is a new brand I discovered. Again, I'm gonna butcher this, I don't know. Basically, it's an Israeli designer, if I'm not mistaken. Dodo, I know it ain't doo-doo, okay? Dodo Bar Or. Y'all know I love my colors. When I tell you this designer has so many pretty patterns and colors, look at this. 
it's like a polo design but it's bodysuit so when you wear it with your clothes if it's so slim and snug into your clothes rather than you tucking in your polo shirt and then it's so poofy on the sides this doesn't do that i did size up i believe this is a 42 it's still very slim i possibly could have done a 44 but your girl need to stop eating all that sugar and stuff and possibly this will fit much better than it does it's it fits now but it'll fit so much better if i can stop eating that's my main problem but love the colors this one is from the fall winter collection which is crazy because most people don't do bright colors in the fall winter but i appreciate you so much because i wear my colors all year long it don't matter also there's this green version of that bodysuit i have it on my wish list i want it i need it i'm gonna get it eventually all right also i got one scarf Honestly, I'm not really a scarf person. I just felt like I needed one at least. But once I wear this, I might totally change my mind. That's how it usually happens. I got this Burberry scarf, not the one that everybody else has, which of course, oh my gosh, is my goals in life. <laughs> just kidding, kind of. I got this from Gilt, so I did not pay full price for it, but I love this print. Oh, I love the frayed edges. Everybody always gets that basic Burberry. Okay, don't be offended everybody always gets the basic one i didn't want that one at all i knew i wanted something wider and i'm so glad i went with this one this one here's what it looks like it's, it's huge okay i can't even hold the entire thing up but it's it's really huge but of course you can choose how thick it is and everything oh my gosh just look at it it's beautiful so many different ways you could tie it y'all know this could even do it like this if I wanted. oh this one actually be cute with this if i layered and different stuff but i like this a lot the material is so nice i believe it's 100 yes it is 100 cashmere that is such a steal i'm telling you if you're looking for a burberry scarf do not pay full price do not i knew i was not paying full price when i wanted when i was looking for one and i went on guilt and i got one for a good price and they have several to choose from so if you don't like this one or you like the other one the basic one that everybody else gets go for it there's one there probably okay i also have three pieces of jewelry i got all of these on sale too Mm. So, the first thing I have are these earrings from Off White, and I believe this is brass or something, but they're these stud earrings that has their signature logo. I love these. I love everything I got, okay? I wouldn't have bought it otherwise, but I love these so much. They're the perfect size studs, too. They're not too small. They could have been bigger, but I don't mind it. I like these a lot. You can even put it in your second piercing if you want, and I don't think it would be too big. It would be too big for me because I have small ears, but that's neither here nor there. And I love the back. It's like this, what is this, hexagon? Six? Yeah. It has this hexagon type of backing on there. Oh, focus. Yeah, you can probably see that. That's the backing on it. Also, I got an off-white necklace. This is so bougie and I absolutely love it. Oh, this is so beautiful. I'll show you up close first. It just says off-white. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, I love it. And also, what the chain looks like. It's a bit thicker than your average chain. And then there's your closure here. Just your typical squeezy closure. I love this so much. Could even add another layer here and just wear it. Oh, I'm sorry. I love all of these pieces. I also got this Balenciaga bracelet. I got the size medium. The small is way too small. So this is a medium. I want the silver one, but I cannot find it in medium. I love this so much. I believe I got this on Tradesy, which is a website where you can find authentic goods. People are selling out of their collection spark, basically. And they are authenticated and all of that, so I love it. Basically, how you open it, pull that, and just slide your arm in. I could even wear it with this if I want it. It's just a nice cuff, and then you can squeeze it closed. I don't recommend you pull it too much. It fits, I promise. It's just a bit of a struggle sometimes to get it on and off, but I like this bracelet so much. Should I include bags? I'm gonna include bags, but know that unboxings are coming, okay? For all of them that I'm showing you. Just showing y'all a little sneak peek. So if you watching this, you get a sneak peek. <laughs> okay, so all the bags, these are the last things I have to show you. I didn't pay full price for any of these, okay? I got two bags from Balenciaga. This is what quickly grew my Balenciaga collection from one to three. The first one is this Neo Classic City Mini in blue. I believe it's just what it's called. I love this, I didn't pay, I said that already, but this just has the smooth leather. Love the size of this one. I also got the Neo Classic City Min Nano, Neo Classic City Nano in fluorescent green. This one has croc print. And here they are side by side, two different sizes. I'm obsessed with this bag shape and the bag. I know a lot of people like to hate on the city 
particularly the older one. This is like the newer version. The older version was more slouchy. I'll admit, I don't like that one. It's not my style. I much prefer the structured version. The quality is just so nice. And I'm telling y'all, without even doing my review, well, I did the review already. Without even reviewing it too much, you might wanna take a look at these, especially if you looking at it and you like it. It comes in so many colors, so many different, you know, material, well, not many different materials. It has this like pebbled leather. I don't know why I said croc. This is not croc. It has this pebbled leather finish here. You know, it has smooth leather, but it does come in croc and maybe other stuff too. Metallics, brights, neutrals. I want more. They have this extra nano in silver. Y'all know I don't really like metallic bags, but that one. And because rude he's just shaking his fur everywhere but i'm trying to talk just kidding kind of i want a metallic one i want the silver one i believe it's on louisa via Roma at the moment it's in my wish list and it's a part of that fall winter 2021 collection we'll think about it but yeah i have reviews on these bags coming soon let me know if you guys want anything else unboxing of that prada jacket coming why do i feel like it's something else i got i did get something from the louis vuitton fall in love collection i should show y'all but try to be patient <laughs> I'm going to show you, I promise. I believe that's it. Did I buy anything else? Why do I feel like I did? I also have a Wolford haul coming. I got some stuff from Wolford, some nice basics. Y'all know I swear by their bodysuits and their basics. They are freaking awesome and so underrated. I have that coming, my Skims haul coming. I believe that's really all I got. I did Zara separately, so I posted that already. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, let me know if you guys own these items, if any of them are on your wish list. If you have others on your wish list, let me know in the comments too. I'll leave a similar video here in case you missed it. Talk soon. Thanks for watching.